In this video, I'm going to show you how to install eCout on Windows. In order to install eCout on Windows, you need to have some prerequisites installed. The first one is Chocolaty, which is Windows Program Manager. You can install and uninstall various applications on Windows using Chocolaty. The advantage of using Chocolaty is that you don't have to download it. You also need to have Python installed on your Windows system and it should be greater than 3.8.0. You should have an OpenAI API key, which you can obtain from their website, plus Windows OS, which I have um, on my laptop right now, and also FFmpeg application, which is used to um, convert the audio and video transcriptions, or the real-time converters, as you would say. So now let's check um, if my system meets the prerequisites or not, and I will also show you how to install the chocolatey. So let me go to my command prompt first. So this is my command prompt right now. Let me first check if I have chocolatey because I have installed it some time back. So you run it with choco, choco dash version. So I have the chocolatey already, which is great. Now let's see if I have Python installed, so Python version. So it is 3.9.5. And I will also put the link to this where you can install this choco and chocolatey and Python in the which is description. Okay, now I have both of these prerequisites. I also have open API key and I'm already on Windows. So all the prerequisites are good. Let me show you how you can install the chocolatey quickly. So for that matter, you need to open the PowerShell. And the way you open PowerShell is you go to your Windows uh, icon, click there, type, and then in the search box, you type PowerShell. It will display the PowerShell. Um, in your menu from there you right click on it and open it as an administrator once that's open then and the screen would look like this as you can see on my screen so i already have chocolatey installed there now in order to install chocolatey i will give you the command as how to do it it's fairly simple let me paste the command here i'm not going to run it because i already have installed it so this is the command you can use. So it is just setting the execution policy bypass and then installing the PowerShell. I will put this whole uh, command in the video's description or on my blog and I will give the link to you. So don't worry about it. Okay, once that's done, another prerequisite I, as I showed you earlier was to install FFmpeg. FFmpeg is a real-time converter of audio and video as you can see here um, in the prerequisites the last one at line number 10 and then i'm going to go back to my powershell and as you can see that by using chocolatey i have installed ffmpeg so the command is very simple you all all you need to do uh, to do is to run choco install ffmpeg in powershell and again how do you open PowerShell? You just right click, you just search your PowerShell in your Windows, right click, open as administrator, and simply run Choco install FFmpeg and it will install it like it has it did on my laptop. Okay, so all the prerequisites are good. Now let's uh, try to install eCout. Okay, in order to install eCout, the first thing you need to do is to clone their GitHub repository. And so go to um, any directory or folder on your laptop. I am in C code e -cout. Now paste this command git clone and then the URL of that repository, click enter. It will start cloning the e -cout. repository. It's publicly available, so you don't have to provide any credentials and you don't have to do anything else. It is downloading. It is uh, not that big, should be fairly quick. So I'm just waiting for it to finish. It doesn't take no real longer. Let's see. Okay, so it has downloaded it. It is not resolving. So all done, which is correct. Now go to this directory CD eCout and just make sure every, sorry, I don't have, okay. So it is there. Uh, all of these files are here, which is great. Now let's install it. And now, as you can see, there's the requirements.txt file, which includes all the libraries required by eCout. So you need to 
use pip command, which is a Python installer. So pip install dash r requirement and then click on enter. It will install all the dependencies in the ecout directory. As you can see, it is installing a lot of libraries here, also giving you uh, all the stuff which it is installing. So I'll pause the video while it downloads and install everything. It takes a bit of a time. While the installation of requirements.txt runs, go to your text editor and then open it and create a new file called as keys.py or keys.py with a Python extension. And then just write this openai underscore API underscore key. And let me actually show you on screen what I mean. So go to your notepad and create this file keys.py and then type openai underscore API underscore key is equal to. And here uh, after the equal to sign, paste your open AI API key and you can obtain it from their website. Let me paste it here and save it. Okay, so the requirements.txt is completed. Now the installation is complete until this step. All you need to do in order to run the ecout is to issue this command, python main.py slash slash API. This will, when you run this command, this will begin transcribing your microphone and speaker output in real time, generating the suggested response based on the conversation. And it takes a bit of a time. So let me pause it and show you in the next video where to exactly uh, input it and how you can use it in order to uh, run it. So just to finish this video, as you can see on the screen, it is adjusting uh, my microphone and also adjusting the ambient noise from the default speaker. So it takes a bit of a time. So you just have to keep speaking and then uh, this script will get adjusted to your the output. So I hope that this was useful. If you have any further questions, please put them in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel as it helps out um, the, for me to produce more videos. Thank you very much. Bye.